Hello, my name is Carlo Bergamini, Senior Consultant here at Western Computer. I'm going to talk a little bit about filtering and how filtering can help you in your everyday processing of Business Central. So I'm going to give you a couple examples of what I like to see if I'm in the system. And what I am about to show you, you can do throughout Business Central. So I'm going to concentrate on customers and sales orders, but rest assured you could do this whether it's in inventory items, with some vendors, purchase invoices, etc. You can do it throughout the whole system. What I'm trying to do is give you the concept of how filters could use. So let's just start off with customers for an example. So if I go into my customer list, I'll say I got a short list of customers. So instead of seeing all of my customers, Maybe I only want to see the customers that have a balance with me. I don't care. If they don't have a balance with me, maybe I just don't care to see them in my customer list. So what I can do is I can filter those out. So if I go up to this funnel and I click on the funnel, that's my filter button. Then over here, I could say, what do I want to filter on? It gives you the list of all the fields available on the customer record. So I could scroll down. If I don't see the very first tops, I could just keep on scrolling down to what I'm looking for. And I could filter on any field that I have access to that actually exists on the customer card. In this example, like I said, for balance, maybe I only want to see customers that have a balance due. If I do that, and let's just say it is not equal to zero, what I'm saying, my filter is, this is my field, balance due, and it's going to be not equal to zero. And that's basically a less than, along with a greater than sign, zero. So that's a less than, a greater than, it means not equal to. I get off it. And now you'll see, actually, it skimmed it down to only seeing 10,000 to 50,000. And let me actually clear this up over here. So we can see my balance due here. So if this is something that I'm interested in to always see, then I could actually save this filter so that way I don't have to reset it every time. So if I click on the save button and I'm just gonna say, all right, what do you want to call it? And I'll just call it balance just that, balance do. Now I have this set. I could set another filter as well. So I want to go to all. I got now I got back all my customers. And I'm gonna set another potential one. Maybe I wanna see something that has, let's go with sales. So I'm gonna choose my sales account. You see my sales column over here. And let's just say anything that is greater than 200,000. And you'll see now I only have a list of two customers. And again, maybe this is something that I want to see all the time. So I could save this and I'll just call it sales of plus 200K. So now I have these saved filters. So if I refresh my page, it gets me back to my standard home page. If I go to my customers, it's gonna show me my full customer list at all times, but any time I have a list that I wanna go back to, because I saved the filters, I could just click on this, and now it's only gonna give me what I saved earlier. I could have as many saved filter views as I want. And if for some reason I decide I don't want this anymore, I wanna adjust it, you could always change the filter criteria, or you could go into this little ellipse button and actually remove it. If you say, yeah, you know what, it's not something I really need anymore. I could just remove it. It's going to ask me you want to remove it. And there you go. But I still have my balance due list. So that's customer list. I'll do one more. And this time, sticking in the sales concept, I'll go to sales orders. Because with sales orders, same thing, I get a list of sales orders. And what I did is I filtered something that's called the status of release, meaning show me all my orders that's been released. If I want to say, give me all, so if I go back to all, it's going to give me my full list. 
So here's a list of all my sales orders, which I have a combination of both released and open. So instead of going into my sales order list and seeing a mixture of released and open, I could easily click on status and obviously it resorts based on the status. Or if I want to set a filter, like I said, I hit my little filter button, which is like a funnel. I go to filter, it's like, what do I want to choose? I want to choose my status. And I'm going to choose show me all of them that's been released. And it just filters on release. Or maybe, as I, so if I go back up, take that off and say open, now it just shows me open. And whichever one I decide, or maybe even pending approvals, if you're going to use workflows for approval workflows, maybe you want a list of pending approvals. In this case, I didn't find anything because there is none. But rest assured, as soon as you get those, it will start reappearing based on my filters. So you can set your filters in any which way that you feel is comfortable and you see a good fit for your use of Business Central on a daily basis. And once again, if I have open, I'm going to save it and say open, oops, open sales orders. And now I'll have a list. So I'm going to, again, refresh, go out, because every time I go back into my sales orders, it's going to give me the standard full list of sales orders, but then I could just click on my save filters and now it's only giving me my list of open sales orders of what I want to see. So this is how filters can really help you when you're in the system on a daily basis. Instead of constantly resetting filters and what have you, if you can save your filters. You'll find that it will make your life easier and faster within the system. So thanks for watching. Hope this helps. Thank you for spending some time watching. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay up to date on all things Microsoft Dynamics. Feel free to contact us if you have any questions. Thanks again.